like the weird sideburns of the late 60s and shit, early 70s, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And they always, they always ran the reruns because even when I was a fucking little, little kid, they were already in reruns. Kind of like um, uh, Brady Bunch, right? That show only ran from like 69 to like 73, maybe 74. It was only on for like four or five years, four or five seasons. But it ran in perpetuity in syndication for like fucking we all like saw it every fucking day it would seem to be on yeah and like banana splits and yeah la 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 oh i love that fucking show man every now and then i spin i spin the intro like i have it on the on my youtube like you know favorites and shit my little lists um yeah i've got it every now and then i'll spin it i'll spin that and the original uh spider-man theme like from the cartoon from the late 60s? You know, it was fun, funny. They were, um, they were playing uh, when George came out to visit me in uh-huh. Hawaii. Uh-huh. Like, they were rerunning Banana Splits on one of the channels. Oh, wow. And uh, I remember George freaked out when he saw it because Ethan was watching it. Uh-huh. And he's like, oh, my God, dude. And he's like, I love this. Because it's like one banana, two banana, yeah, three, three banana, banana, four. four. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Goop her head snort. Na, na, na. Yeah, we, we we came with up with a version. It was one banana, two banana, three banana, four, five bananas coming out your back door. Oh. <laughs> and the fifth banana sneaking out your back door. <laughs> la 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 la. But it was it was cool because it was like the stuff we were growing up on. Ethan was watching too. So sure. Kinda, you know. Well, it's cool to see the fact that that stuff, if the kids give it a chance and don't dismiss it immediately just because it's old, it will appeal to them. You know, it's got that shit has a kind of a timelessness, you know, at least for a certain age, whatever. Yeah, they're all dressed up in costumes like animals. And yeah, over the top, man. Goofy and like slipping around. Like, hey, 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 yeah, they do like the hopping on one foot, fucking kind of moves and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the slapstick and zany and shit. No, oh. it was that. Yeah, that's a fucking harmless goddamn show. Jesus Christ! What about uh, like Tennessee Tuxedo and Chumley? Rocky. Yeah. Hey, uh, Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, certainly, yes. Yeah, let's go see Mr. Mr. Uh, oh, what was his name? Mr. Whoopi? Mr. Uh, Peabody's uh, three-dimensional chalkboard or something? Who was it, Mr. Uh, well, Peabody and Sherman, yes. Yeah, he had like a, a three-dimensional chalkboard, remember? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah he, he expanded it. He'd pull it apart and just be like, what's yeah. up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that show was pretty wild. Yeah. Yeah, that whole gamut of uh, stuff we used to watch as kids, you know? It was like... Like, that was that stuff was stuff it that... Was fun- you... It was funky, you know? It was, like, really... It was funky. Yeah, and it would, it was, it would be something that I wouldn't mind if, if, if Vaughn was going to watch fucking TV all day. That it would be that, that kind of style or that era of programming I, I wouldn't mind if you watched it all fucking day it's just yeah, some little house on the prairie no <laughs> <laughs> well that too it, that doesn't hurt but like all that stuff it, it had heart now obviously in the mix was there some kind was was there some like controversial things at least through today's eyeballs controversial things said and done yeah yeah, they're just they're trying to break the ice though on a lot of those issues. Oh well, yeah, know? a lot of cartoons, you know, they were, man. They weren't trying to be like blatantly mean about these things. They're just trying well, to no, like, hey, hey, addressing we're all shit. And originally, cartoons weren't intended for kids. They were originally intended intended for adults. 
Yeah, I mean, you go back and watch his stuff. It has takes on a whole new meaning now. Fuck yeah. Now, you know, the original Tom and Jerry's and all that stuff is just like, whoa. It's like, yeah. Man, I never picked up on that shit. Through a different lens. Yeah. It's all political and sexual and adult. You know? Oh, yeah. There used to be like a Nickelodeon. Dad going to work, all beat up, coming home, you know, fucking. Dragged out, not wanting to talk. Yeah. Give him, a, give Dad a drink and fucking give him his slippers, a drink and a pipe. Let him fucking chill out for a while. Yeah. That was back in the days when y'all respected the father. Now you like Uncle like Ruckus. Now you act like he's some kind of, you know what. Speaking of which, last night I did I did my my back to back double 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 dog danger. I did a uh, um uncle the uncle ruckus re, uh, reality show episode. It's called yeah, which is, is, I think maybe I've seen it. Which is basically just ruckus kind of explaining his more or less his entire philosophy yeah, character. and character <laughs> <laughs> out of fucking hand out of control shit right there um but then I followed it up with um South Park the all about all about Mormons episode <laughs> dum, 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 dum. yeah that yes <laughs> yes that's the one <laughs> Oh Jesus! He's like, look into my head. I've got these stones. Yeah, he's like, to, he's like, God gave me these. Dream and do me. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. He's like, God gave me these seer stones, and then I throw them into this hat, but only I can see them. Yeah. He puts his face in there. He's like, oh, everything's being translated into English. <laughs> the thing is, is those stones go back though. I think they're a. Maybe Jewish origin, or even before that. Um, like I was kind of checking him out recently, like online, just reading up on him. And so he wasn't the first person to use those. Those actually go back, like way back. And they used to use them. It was a black and a white stone, and they would use them to uh, decide sometimes people's fate, like a, uh, you know like judges and different things and you know like is he guilty or is he not guilty they throw the fucking stones and shit oh you know jesus like, christ yeah and it was, it was like you know it kind of mutated over time but you know so he's looking in this hat essentially like rolling stones around getting yes or no answers and shit and writing shit down you know so I can, like, okay you know i don't know crazy shit <laughs> But interesting, because I never knew any of that until recently. Oh. You know, like the, that it was actually a thing before all that, before Mormonism. What? You want me to cook those? God. Listen. Certified, certified slave. I'm going to cook up some uh, pot stickers. Oh yeah, yummy. Yeah, and if they're a little darker <laughs> on one side, then that's that means yes, and if it's a lighter on the other, that's no. So however it's served up, it's going to be like a yes or no, you know. Like if there's three yeses and two nos, then well, then tough yes shit. The answer. The eyes <laughs> have it. Hey, look, can you see me? Who me? Yeah. Do you see me? Hold on. Wait. <coughs> oh, man. I look like that fucking fag from Twitter, the CEO. <laughs> yes, I think everyone should think what I want them to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like a cross between him and Ming, <coughs> Ming the Merciless. Yeah. 
Meanwhile, my deals with the Chinese are very strong still. Ha ha ha. Oh, they're paying me many yen. Many yen. So yeah, man, it's interesting times we live in, huh? Some shit, yeah. I mean, at least I'm keeping life somewhat exciting, you know? Yeah. Oh, look at that shit. It's a Z, dude. Totally. It's the Z cast. Alright, let's not get carried away on that. No. So do we do we have any more music we want to talk about? So if you listen to our last episode, I was talking about Van Halen and the Cure having a <coughs> some similarity. A song similar similar guitar licks. Mm -hmm. I think I found it. It's I will always love you, or love you as I think. So I will song. always love you. <laughs> However long I stay. That's a great song. Yeah, I mean it's yeah, it's a jam. It's it's got it's got feeling. It's got a emotion. You know yeah. what I was listening to? The song that always gets me though is um the Spider Man. Spider Man's having me for dinner tonight. Yeah, what's that song called? Spider Man. I forget. Is it Spider Man? Yeah. Yeah, or Lullaby. I think it's a Lullaby. No, I'm telling you, man. Yeah. Oh. But, um, yeah, that song has been burned into my memory, dude. Because we're we're over on. Uh, remember the micro dot? Yeah. Yeah, that night, me and you took it randomly, and uh, we met up. Like we had no plans of like getting together, but we'd both taken the same thing <laughs> and then hooked up that yeah. night. Uh huh. Down at uh, Missy's place. You remember that? Yeah. And uh, yeah, I was downstairs, and I think it was um, what do you call it? Uh, like the the world premiere kind of, you know, MTV would do its world uh -huh. premieres. Yes. And I think that song they kept playing at world premiere that night, and I was sitting there watching it in a. Yeah, it just fucking burned into my memory, man. And uh, I was listening to the other the other day when I was listening through all that Cure music, and I was just like, it's a good song. I mean, it's well orchestrated. And, uh, but that wasn't... It's got, the, it's got the violins and everything, the strings, you know, it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Good. Dude, yeah. but that was, that was not Trip, that was um, Mask. Or yeah. Or yeah. 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 Spider Man. It was, it was interesting. Uh, dose, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was. It was very um, intensely like it had a lot of visuals kind of to it. It seemed. Yeah, it just kind of puts you in a weird, weird state, and that whole Spider Man thing just kind of played into it. Oh, I'm sure, man. Watch you know, it. I watched that video like five times over. I was just watching videos all night for like three hours. Yeah. And uh, I was just like, it, it would come on again, and it seemed like it hadn't been five minutes before it'd come on again, you know, because I was just tripping out on my own thoughts. Yeah. And there it was again, and I'd just watch it and just be like, oh my God, what the fuck's going on? And they'd show him like creeping around with shadows behind him and shit. And I'm like, ah! Yeah, it was a very spooky kind of weird video. Yeah. The Spider-Man is having me for dinner tonight. It's on Disintegration. So is the song Lullaby? Is that the name of it? Or Spider -Man? No, it's Spider-Man. It's on Disintegration in, from 89. Yeah. Wow, that was still the 80s, huh? Sure. Yeah, dude. 
Let's see what else is on that fucking album.